the Pelsi P12 Pro mirror dash camera. Super excited about this in my car, to be putting it into my car and to do a product review on this. As ever, links down there in the description if you want more information, the pricing and how you can buy this. But I really am super excited about this one. My car has not got a reversing camera and I have got a unit in there at the moment, but when I turn the ignition on, it takes 30 seconds for the unit to come to life and things like that. Um, and I do have a, a dash cam attached to that other unit, but this is super good. So this basically clips over your existing reversing mirror. So don't worry if you've not got a, um, a reversing mirror that you use, say you're in a motorhome because this has got a dash cam built into it and it's all touch screen directly from the mirror and you can attach a reverse camera to this, which I am going to be doing. Um, it actually comes complete with a 32 um, gigabyte uh, micro SD card, blah, 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 blah. But what we want to do now, we need to dive in and um, have a look at this. Um, and it's, this should be, this should be, Oh, super, um, super nice. So obviously he's come to the box. There uh, you can see, pelsi.com. And within the box, there is another box. Up comes the lid. And we have the content. So we've got a user manual. And as ever with me, I tend to dive in without um, looking into the user manual. But let me just have a quick flip through yeah it's all in English um, yeah it shows you uh, what to do put the card in there's a little card Pelsey um, card with we're here to help you with a email helpline what else we got in here we've got a cigarette lighter choke charge cable you'll notice I'm not in my car so I am going to put a small power bank um, with two Power this up all being well because it's powered by a micro USB um, cable, which is really good, really, really good. What else have we got in the box? So I'm in the box. This is the reversing camera. Um, I'm not going to take this out. Well, yeah, I will sort of take it out. Uh, oh, yeah. So it's, uh, here's the camera. And basically, you need to sort of hook this all the way from the, uh, the camera through the roof lining or whatever, um, and then attach it onto a rear bumper or um, onto the rear of the car, uh, in, onto the rear of the car. And then you'll attach a live wire, uh, the red wire on the other end to um, your live wire on your reversing light. So your white light on the back. So when you put your car into reverse, it activates and powers this. I am going to be fitting, getting this fitted. We've got an, uh, an extra GPS module. So this has got um, GPS full tracking on it. So you can plug this in and you can, um, it's got a uh, tape on here to put the GPS tracker on there. We've got, what have we got here? We've got a, 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 a wipey cloth. We've got the SD card. I'm gonna put that to one side. Um, We've got, a, oh, this is, you don't, you don't often get these in, in things. We've got a trim removal tool. So this is helps you remove your trim. Um, let's keep that into there. And then we've got a number of options on bands. We've got those ones. And these ones, which I'll, I'll explain a little bit more in detail once we get the mirror out um, on how this actually attaches to your existing mirror. So to keep things clean, let's put that into there. So back in the box now and take out this. Oh, that's really well packaged actually. It's, uh, it's got its own bit of um, bone insulation. So you, you know it's good quality when the it's well packaged and, and good quality packaging. They've not scrimped on that. And then Oh, yeah, so that's how we're all looking here now. And basically this clips onto your existing um, mirror. So if, uh, so if you imagine that it goes onto your reversing mirror 
And then with those bands we saw, they clip round. And so this then will become your new mirror. And the super exciting thing, you've got this, which is all adjustable. You can move it about. So this is your dash cam that's built into this. So instead of having a separate dash camera, all built in, absolutely amazing. Uh, and, and the reverse camera as well. What have we got in here? We've got a, by the looks of it, we've got a power button on and off. Um, we've got the uh, SD card, your power in, your micro, S, uh, your micro uh, USB, sorry, your, your type C to feed the camera, um, GPS module and reversing camera all clicks into this. So that is out of the box. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just put um, um, this little power bank and we'll basically plug this cable into the unit um, and fire it up. Right, so don't we all just love doing this? Right. And this is powered up straight away. Um, so I think what I'm going to try and do, because you're not going to be able to see this too well, I'm going to insert the micro SD card. We need to format that. And I'll turn the camera around um, so you can all be well, see this screen a little bit better, and we can go through the setup menus on it. Okay, so we're inside. And I say I put the SD card in here. This is micro USB. I'm putting that on. Sorry, I'm trying to not get my reflection in the best that I can. And straight away, please format the SD card. Um, so we want to click yes on that. And that's going to take a few moments for the card to format. Formatted, came up straight away. Okay, so we're all on touch screen. Touch the screen. And we've, uh, again, I'm, I'm doing this blind. I just, I just dive straight into things here. Um, we've got a home button here. Do you want to quit the current video? What well, we can do if we wanted to. Um, and then we've got various settings and menus to go through. So we've got the dash cam to turn it on and activate it. Um, we've got an indicator up here on the right hand side um, about the battery condition, the SD card. We're recording in 4K. Back to the main menu, smart drive. Um, so we can calibrate this. Now this has got ADAS, that's your Advanced Driver um, Assistance um, on it. So this will get you alerts if you're getting too close to a vehicle um, to help you avoid any collisions. And we've also got the PSD, which is similar um, for things that are around you as well. So, so these are super helpful and I'm not going to calibrate it now. Um, so come back out of here. I'm not going to calibrate it now uh, because I'm not in the vehicle. But once the mirror is in the vehicle, you can click the calibrate button. Um, and you can see you've got your lines. You can move up and down and things like this. I'm not going to save this now because this isn't in situation at the moment. But once it's in the vehicle, that's how you would do this. And you'd also calibrate this one as well. So as you're driving along, if there's, I don't know, if there's a car undertaking you or overtaking you, you can get alerts on here as well. So it says here the yellow box, um, lane warnings, areas on both sides of the rear. Uh, and basically you can adjust all of this in the calibration. So we'll come back out of here. Your file explorer. These are just very, 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 very um, quickly, the files that we've, we've got on the camera. So to go back, so there what we've done. When you're recording, you can lock um, uh, a video. So you've got like, if you have a collision, you can save that video and on it. Uh, the camera settings. So again, these will be pretty self-explanatory. You've got your video resolution, um, what you want to do, um, 1080p or 4K, etc. cetera. Um, Loop recording, we've got that on one minute. Your light source, this is your flicker, it's uh, 50 hertz. You can um, hardwire this in for the G sensor and parking mode. You need a hardwiring kit for that to actually work. Um, 
we're recording there's a watermark you can put on here the rear mirror i'm not got that turned on at the moment because we need to put the camera in and um excess on there but super um not, oh i like i like that little um scroll on here very responsive very very quick very very nice and uh, system configuration you got your media switch your volume controls startup sound that's your bleep when it comes on does it have a ketone when you touch um it goes to sleep after one minute blah 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 and um, speed we want to go to mph miles per hour we're in english time zone gmt um so it's going to go to greenwich mean time onto there voice control you have got a number i think there's eight voice prompts you can do with this as well if you wanted to um Turn on screen, turn off screen, show front camera, show rear camera, show both cameras, blah, blah, blah. You have got voice control on this. Um, back, oops, sorry, go back to system settings. The satellite information um, is just showing you, the sorry, the system information is showing you what the system information is. And you've got a um, factory restore date and time. So we need to we need to set that, don't we? Which I'm going to do um, coming up now. Where I'll be as I'm starting this review. It's the 27th of, of this. Sorry, day 27th. Anyway, let's go backwards. It's very responsive, as you can see, and we're in 2023. And as I'm doing this at the moment we're on 1330 roughly so 27th of October 2023 is where we're doing it um, so I don't know if you saw that date format. You can go 2023, 1027, 1023, 2023. And I prefer this one. I don't know if you can see that there, which is the 27th of October, 2023. Okay. And then we've got whether you want the clock in uh, 12 or 24 hours. It's nice. That's a nice little touch, that, isn't it? So I'm, I'm going to put it on the 12 hour clock. Happy with that. That's good. Um, satellite information. Again, we're not connected up at the moment on this one here and click the back button and so that is basically how quick and simple this is you see here now it's displaying the time and date and everything is all here isn't it Okay, super weird. So as you can see the camera, it's showing up my face and we've got a lock icon. So if you were um, in an accident or you needed to quickly lock a file, you've got the um, the icon down here for this. It's giving sort of other, other direction and other menus on what you can do. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to kick that and I'm going to go back to the home button. We'll do that. Um, and I think you can see how pretty, pretty this is looking. So I think we're going to go into the car, quickly put this on temporarily uh, without sort of wiring it in neatly and go and give a first look and a first verdict on it. Let's get this out into the car. This isn't going to be particularly easy to video myself in the car. Um, at the moment, I've got that little unit there on my um, dash. And that's got a dash camera in on it and a reversing camera. And as I say, it does take um, quite a few seconds for that to come to life. It does the job. It's OK. But I think this is going to be a lot more discreet. And now I'm in the car with this is powered off and it's just like a traditional mirror, as you can see. And what I've done here now, I've put the all the cables are all in and it's going to be a little bit untidy this because I'm just as I'm doing this little review for you now it's just um just to give you an idea and then basically you've got the clips at the back here and here and if you see the oh sorry 
So this will clip onto here, replace your existing mirror, and then the rubber bungees, these ones here, and the uh, the mirror will just clip onto here. So unfortunately, I need uh, two hands to do this, one hand to hold it and one hand to attach. So I'm gonna have to just put the camera down, but I'll show you once I've attached it to the um, to the existing right, so mirror. Excuse all the dangly wires, as I say, this is only now just for test purposes. I've just put the GPS receiver up here and these are just literally dangling. It's only, uh, only temporary. So I'm just gonna flip the ignition on to give some power. So you can see the logo come up and at the minute, <laughs> oops, I'm upside down. So this is the, uh, this is the little rear camera. Obviously you can put that into your rear window um, or put it outside, whatever. So th as I say, this is only temporary at the moment. We can hit the screen here. We can hit the button. And again, we, ha we had a look at these, quit. This is the smart drive now, so we can calibrate to here. The red line is the skyline where the sky and the earth meet. The green line is the center line is there. So we can actually alter the ADAS on it and things like this. Obviously, as time goes on, we'll calibrate this properly. So we'll save that and we'll calibrate the um, collision one as well um, which uh, I'm not going to do because I've not got the rear camera in here at the moment but obviously as and when I don't know if you can see this here that's that's all in place that'll work so come back out of here come back out of here um, yeah really simple put the dash cam on so that's the rear camera and what we can do here we can click this and we've got voice controls so we can go uh, turn off screen and that goes as a voice control um, show front camera so there's the front camera now and then there is do you remember on the I don't know, the, the, I don't know if you can see this here we can adjust the camera um, manually and obviously where the the mirror is and things like this here so that's your dash cam we can scroll through so that's going to be the rear camera when it's working and both cameras um in into here and again Show voice control both cameras nice and simple as I say, that's all temporary set up um it's it's not fully fixed up it's all all very very temporary at the moment um, we're going to give this a run out and um, see what it's like to actually drive Fresh with it. it. I mentioned um, you can have this sort of in, in sort of covert mode. So this is now just your traditional mirror um, when we turned off the screens. And again, you you can click them and um, yeah, have your, have your control. So you can have this just as a mirror if you don't want any visuals up here. I should have also pointed out that the 12 volt adapter here, your power source has got a USB um, in it as well. So yeah, just in case you were wondering. Right, so some progress here. Um, the existing little reversing camera I've had installed on the car works with this unit. So I am gonna to need to retrace some of the wires back uh, and just pull out some slack. But temporarily, I have now tidied things up. So we have got the GPS receiver wire out of um, out of sight here. The power is um, goes all the way down, oh, bum, 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 and feeds underneath here. Uh, and as I say, that's this wire here. I need to, I just need to find some slack on that one. But this is this is going to be great now because I can do a, a bit of a proper review on it. Ignition on, power on, and. In we go here so at the moment that is now showing the reversing camera so I can adjust the uh, guidance lines and if I take the car out of reverse um, it goes straight the way back and what we've got now there's the reversing camera there's the front camera 
we can swipe to show front camera we can have that as a reversing camera or we can turn this off altogether or we can have a split screen if we want it and um, obviously that wire is just hanging over the um, screen at the moment so yeah happy days and if I put the car into reverse watch how good is that that's um yeah uh, sorry I'm absolutely delighted the only bit of a headache a uh, slight headache I've got is the, the uh, excess wire for the reversing cameras in the boot so I need to re re retrace all of that but just for this for the purpose of this review isn't this amazing what we need to do we need to we need to go out for a little run out don't we I think um don't but again so to show you all working and again you've got the voice controls if you want to um show front camera etc you can swipe that's the rear camera this is a um, indication here so i'm not gonna be able to record in a bit but both cameras click this back here back into here we can go back into all of our settings um i mean actual fact what we can do we can do the smart drive now we did the calibrate on here so the yellow box is the lane warning area on both both sides of the rear view and the red dot so this is sort of prompting so if we've got things coming over and we can if you watch the red dot there i don't know if you can see it or not but basically we need to calibrate that into um here but you can see how you can calibrate the touch screen this is this is a lot better than i thought this was going to be this is this is really good and click save click back click onto the dash cam okay i think we need to go for a little bit of a test drive and uh and see how this performs but i am liking this a lot right so the verdict so i've just been out i've been over to alford and back and this has been absolutely amazing i really better than i thought it was going to be if i'm absolutely honest and i think what we're best to do to end the video is let's get some clips from this so you can actually have a look at what the quality is like
So that was the Pelsey P12 Pro. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you did do, remember, give the video a like. You can subscribe down there below if you wanted to. Hope you found that uh, of some use. And as ever, links in the description to find out more information on this product and how you could own one.